Hey, it's Ambrix, and it finally begins. I've been talking about doing this, reviewing the LEGO City sets that I own. So this is the first one we're going to start off with, and actually my first LEGO set, uh, LEGO City set ever that I still have. I had one more before this, which was like a police slash robber starter pack with an ATM and everything, but yeah, I don't, I lost that. Uh, I had it when I was really small, maybe a six or whatever. So. This is the Lego City camper van. It is set number 60057 from the year 2014. So let's get into this thing. Uh, the thing, I like this set a lot because it originally retailed for what I think was $20. So yeah, it's cool. Uh, looking at the front, you can already see a difference from nowadays city sets. It says city right there with the sticker. Usually they don't have that anymore, but that is okay. You know, we got the headlights right there off right now. The license plate at the side. I like the sort of lighting snuck into this thing all over. This is completely personal opinion. But these are the mirrors that are supposed to be kept down. But if you do do this, let's let's get those up. That looks like a dog to me. I don't know why. That just looks like the ears or something. But we got a windshield right there. Uh, some stickers. This is probably like the brand of the car or whatever. Uh, that's a little spoiler hinges right there. Uh, I'll talk about those later. I like the green stripe going through the thing. It adds a bit more life. Here's like how you'd step into the thing. Uh, I like the use of the small tires. I think those are perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, that stud is red. It's supposed to be one like this. So sorry about that. But the lights are pretty nice. Again, I built this in 2014. And it went through a move, so yeah, one piece missing ain't a big deal, and that's why stickers are off, you'll note. Uh, another sticker right there, and I like, you know, the windows. Here's how the thing looks from the bottom, in case you were wondering. And that's an identical license plate to the one on the front. You might have noticed the canoe with two stickers right here, and that's nice. It pulls off, it's out of jumper, then this nice piece. And we'll take a look at it later, but... Yeah, that's where it attaches. We got a little bar here, but that's more of a handle for you. And in there, they I don't think they recommend doing this, but in the set are included two paddles and two life vests for the canoe, and that's just extra space in there, which I decided to put those in. Uh, yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to close. You know, you really have to just get in there and position the other life vests correctly. Yeah, like that. And then, uh, sorry about the mirror, just knock that thing off but yeah um this whole part uh if you yeah if you remove the jumper you can remove this as well and yeah they have a lot more extra space in there as you can see so yeah you could easily uh fit more stuff in there don't know if they like say in the instructions to do that but that's definitely a possibility the roof obviously removes as so many other uh, roofs do to give you good access so yeah we're gonna move that to the side um right here in the sort of driver's area i'm gonna move him out of the way so you got the little uh chair right there you got a steering wheel and then a coffee cup now even if they did have another stair uh, uh seat here two figures wouldn't be able to sit side by side because the arms are a bit like bigger than these chairs that would stick out the chair sorry um but i still think it looks like you're just one chair and yeah i guess it's okay but at least put that in the middle it's messing with my ocd just having one on this side but then you know just have the path from the back into the front which is nice but it should lead to another seat you know we got a nice view right here with the arch and then the sort of steps up there and uh, you can see the hinges here that aren't really on this side and that's because this whole side yep opens up this is so nice because you know this thing closed from far away you wouldn't even know it did that even in the back it lines up nicely but it does we got a little chair back there and a table that's a nice build with a little coffee mug we got a tv that's a very nice sticker and like some wilderness training i believe and then a bed it would be nice if the bed like if you could lift a piece off right here and then you know some extra storage i just like hidden compartments and lego sets i got but the bed is a nice simple build you can only fit one on there unless you know it's going to be really crap but you know you can do it i've done it before where uh you fit two because 
yeah but then like one is going to be leaning up but see how these are panel pieces so yeah they help to like uh get the arm in and you can close the whole thing up so that is how that works and then you can just put the whole um roof back on like so now uh, i forgot to mention in case you didn't know the life jackets or vests uh do fit uh, upon the minifigures you just pull one of their heads off stick that right there through the neck and then you know put the head back on and the canoe itself you know it has a decent space it could probably fit what is that mm, four figures i'd say if they were like legs touching backs or whatever and then yeah it's a pretty nice canoe here's how it scales up to the car to a minifigure and that's nice so yeah let's take a look at the figures Starting off with the girl here, she has the female specific torso, which has the lines and all, so that it's for girls mainly. You know, you could use it for boys, but you know, uh, they recommend it to be used for girls. I like just the regular torsos, you know? I don't really care for the lines. I don't even like them. No leg printing, but uh, that's Nia's hair right there, and the face is okay, you know? Everything is just decent on this figure, nothing too good. And we got so many re-releases of that of. Uh, Actually, everything in this, yeah, not exclusive at all. This guy's also nice, like his hoodie right there, or raincoat, but yeah, again, like we keep getting these pieces over and over again. Definitely not exclusive, but still, he's pretty good. So, uh, back in the day when this was 20 bucks, I think it was a great deal. You get a canoe, which a lot of kids were really interested in back then, uh, from what I've seen. Uh, a nice driving compartment, a bed, a table, a TV, extra storage space up there. The figures are really good. I love this box art. I don't know why. It just, it's just so nostalgic to me. It's like one of the first LEGO sets I own. But yeah, this is pretty much it, I think, for the set and my thoughts on the figures. I recommend it for 20 bucks. Now it goes for roughly 70 sealed on eBay, but that is it for this uh, video. Sorry about that. Yeah, I did that when I was younger where I pulled some tape off and some of the box get, got ripped off. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a comment down below uh, and leave a like, not if you like the set or not, like just if you like the video. And uh, the, I'm going to talk to you again soon because this is the next set I plan on reviewing. So yeah, that's it. Bye.